So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to import footage into Final Cut. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so first off, I've got my Final Cut open. And first of all, we need to make a library. So we can come up to File, New, Library, and I'm just gonna call this Demo. And now what this has done is it's made our library and also an event in this. I'll make a video on libraries, events, and projects up here. So now we've got our library and our event. We can come up to this downward arrow up here, which is our import, and we can choose where we bring this in from. Also, if you've got a camera selected, you can bring things in from there, but I've got this clip here, so I can hit import selected, but first let's look at some of the settings. So this is add to an existing event, or it can create a new event. For me, I'm just gonna leave it in the existing one, which is this one over on the side. And here's one thing where people can get a bit confused in copy to library or leave files in place. This is because I'm on an external hydro Drive, but normally it will say either that or copy it to the library. So I'm going to leave this in place because I usually use a folder structure. I'll have a link in the description where you can download that if you want it. But this means that for me, I know where the file is. So later on, if I need it, I can find it. But if it's just kind of a random thing that you don't know where it's going to be, then I'd recommend copying it into the library. Just know that this library is then going to be a huge file. And now keywords, I just leave these both ticked. This is really where it's getting some of the information, like from finder tags or from folders. Now we can analyze the video so it can balance color. I leave that off to be honest because I want to be able to edit this later if there's any issues with it. You can find people and um, so we can turn that on for this and it will show you what it means and then it can also create a smart collection for people and things like that and then we can transcode optimized media. This turns it into ProRes and can make it a little bit nicer and then create proxy media you can tick this and choose the codec and you can also then change the frame size. This is gonna mean it is basically making a smaller file, but that means it's easier to edit. And now you can analyze audio, the same as kind of video and assign roles automatically. So I'm just gonna hit import. If you wanna do it an easier way, you can get it from Finder and just drop it straight in, but you need to either have a event selected or you need to drop it onto the event. And now I'm gonna make a project, which is where we can edit this. So I can hit Command N or I can come up to File, New, Project. And this again, we can call it whatever we want. So we could just call it Project. And then you select which event it goes in. You can either use custom settings or you can leave it on automatic and it bases that off of the first video you add in. And then if we hit OK, it brings us this. We can either hit I and O for in and out selecting this. Then we can do option X to delete this selection. So now I can just drag this in and for some reason this isn't done it correctly. So I'm just going to hit 1080p HD and that's now going to give me the right settings for it. I can click OK, and now it's all set OK. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider giving it a like, and I'd recommend this video on how to cut your clips once they're in the timeline. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.